Hello, it's Michael Tackett here with the truth. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Now, you've heard me laugh at Ron Paul. Ron Paul! A Stoneist fan, right? Well, one of the reasons why I like knocking down that batshit crazy nutter is because of his ideology. This idea that the state alone is good enough. One of the theories that Ron Paul has had was he talked about the state should have abolished slavery, that there should have been no civil war, and that the slavery would have this would have ended anyway. The free market and the states would have ended it, even though he ex does not explain how somehow we're to believe that Ron Paul would leave the liberty one, Ron Paul, and it would free all the slaves. February 7th, 2013, from CBS News. After 148 years, Mississippi finally ratifies 13th Amendment, which bans slavery. You might like, Michael, you're chuckling. Because, basically, it's, you know, I know it's not funny, but it's just sickening in a way. That if somebody would have owned a slave, it would have been legal. There could have been nothing done. It, it was not, the law was not ratified. I mean, you know there are people that look over this over and over and over. And you know that someone had to see whether or not this law had been ratified or not. Mississippi is the, poor, the state that has the lowest income, the most poverty, one of the, the highest crime rates, abortion, teen, uh, teen, uh, teenage pregnancy, abortion rates. I mean, this state is basically still in the 19th century. Welcome to the 20th century, Mississippi. Welcome to the hell of the late 19th century. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution was abolished slavery, was ratified in 1865. Lawmakers in Mississippi, however, only got around to officially ratifying the amendment last month, 148 later, thanks to the movie Lincoln. The state's historically uh, oversight came to light after Mississippi resident Rajan uh, Batroff saw the Steven Spielberg directed film last November, the Carlin Ledger, uh, Carlin Ledger reports. After watching the film, which depicts the political fight to pass the 13th Amendment, Batra did some research. He learned that the amendment was ratified after three-fourths of the states backed it in the, uh, December 1865. Four remaining states all eventually ratified the amendment, except Mississippi. Mississippi voted to ratify the amendment in 1995, but failed to make it official by notifying the U.S. archives. Somebody had to know this. So there goes that argument. There it goes. Out the window. That if you let the state, it would have been it done it by itself. And slavery would have ended. There would have been no civil war. Sometimes the state rights is necessary. Sometimes the state should. It's not a simple black and white issue like libertarians want. State does everything. Federal government stay out. No. You go by a case-by-case -case basis. In this case, the federal government had to step in because funny how these little things got overlooked in Mississippi. Again, Ron Paul and them don't explain how the free market, which is what kept slaves slaves in the first place because cheap labor, more profits for the, the, the you know for the rich. He didn't explain how the free market or how the state would have you know well he said that the state would have abolished it anyway. Says who? Four states finally ratified it and Mississippi only got officially around to ratifying it 
So who the hell would have said if the, the, the Civil War hadn't happened that they would have just kept the slaves? Who was going to stop them? What if the voters, I'm like, well, the voters could have uh, voted to overturn it. What if the voters didn't? What if the voters of that state were like, man, we're fine with it? But Mississippi's not exactly an advanced state. And I got to correct uh, Invincible Numinist, who said that Texas was the biggest herd dirt of the world. No, that would be Mississippi, Owen. I'm sorry to pwn you, but uh, you, you've been pwned by the big dog. You know, Mississippi is the biggest herd of dirt in the world. Once again, Rainbow, Rand Paul, and the rest of the libertarians, uh, 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 Greg, what was it, uh, Johnson, all these, you know, right, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I, you know, seriously, their ideology just falls apart when you really start to dig into it. And that is the truth.